Why, hello there! It's been a good seven months since my last shiny hunting video, but rest assured, I am still here and I'm most definitely still hunting. Ever since Pokemon Scarlet and Violet came out in November of 2022, I've been wanting to do shiny lock removal hunts to go for the starters, the legendaries, and Gimme Ghoul. Inevitably, every single new release of Pokemon now tends to have quite a few important static encounter Pokemon be shiny lock. And that's a practice I absolutely despise. It kind of just spites the fans who spend so many hours on this game wanting to get things that are meaningful, only for them to kind of be denied and just be released as events. It's honestly rather frustrating. So when I figured out I could actually remove the shiny locks in this game through a fairly long-winded but ultimately not that difficult process, I was absolutely ecstatic. And of course, the first hunt I wanted to try this out on were the Paldeo starters, Sprigatito, Oikoko, and Quaxley. The first of the three I decided to go for was Shiny Sprigatito. While not the most noticeable, amazing shiny, it's still the one I wanted to go for most because of the three starters, it's my favourite in the first four, at the very least. This hunt initially started in December, which is around about where I first figured out how to remove the shiny locks. If you want any information on that, by the way, I will provide as much of it as I can in the description. I would love to see more people do shiny lock hunts in these games. Not enough people do them. So I started this hunt around December, but around about January, I lost a fair bit of motivation and only very recently picked it back up around about a week ago. I started, uh, restarted it again around about 2,485 soft resets, and in the past week or so, I've been able to go up to a very steady 3,252 soft resets. The reason it didn't go any higher is because Shiny Sprigatito actually presented itself to me under odds. Immensely fortunate, considering these soft resets are quite long, to say the least. If you include the startup time of the home menu on the Switch, I would say it takes two hour, two minutes per pop. Two hours? Jesus, imagine that. For anybody interested in doing shiny lock removal hunts in Generation 9 games, feel free to have a gander at the description. If you have any additional questions, feel free to leave a comment and I will try and answer to the best of my ability. Until next time, uh, take care and I hope you enjoy the footage.
And thank you for watching everybody. I thought it'd be a perfect way to end the video by having me walking alongside Shiny Sprigatito in the game. It's one of the great perks of Scarlet Violet, you can have your shinies walk around with you and it's on the sleeve. There's just nothing like it really. Uh, hopefully I'm able to get the other two Shiny Paldeo starters without too much struggle, but we'll see about that. Uh, thank you for watching everybody and hope to see you soon.